Okay guys, I am home in the garage and I am just about to put away all of my grocery haul. Today I stopped at Winco first and I got a bunch of frozen raspberries and some blackberries. I thought I wasn't going to be able to find fresh blackberries first, but I did. And then, um, so I thought I'll just put these in the freezer. I used the raspberries for my smoothies. Um, I did get a bunch of little avocados. They're nowhere near ready, so I'm going to have to leave them out on the counter for a few days. And then um, got some zucchini um, for, I don't know, noodles or whatever. I just really like zucchini. I think I'm going to grill them. That would be nice. And then I got um, some more light cheese sticks. Still haven't had these yet. My family eats those. Definitely got some romaines this week. Um, got a bunch of ground beef. And this is 93% lean. Um, so what I did last week was I just got something this big. Um, and I just cooked it all with like a whiskey burger seasoning. And then just put it in a Tupperware in the fridge after draining it. And then we could just add it to things all week. It was already cooked. Tacos, spaghetti, whatever. Sometimes I even added it to some egg and made little chaffles out of it and they were really good. Um, got some Kerrygold butter, picked up one of those, some more blue cheese, and notice it's not like the light blue cheese. I haven't seen that for months. I don't know what's happened to that. Definitely got some more coleslaw again so I could make some egg roll in a bowl or cold coleslaw. I found these. I have not tried these yet. Let me know if you have. They're Cheddar Folios cheese wraps, um, and they're lactose-free, gluten-free, and you can make little roll-ups and, you know, whatever you want out of them, I guess. This is the nutrition information. They are 160 calories each, and uh, 13 grams of fat, total carbs, 1, and 11 grams of protein. So, I mean, if you're not going to have bread, you know, this might be good. So I'm going to put those in the fridge. I'm trying to keep those nice and cold. They seem to be quite thin. Um, I got some more light Baby Bell because even though, even if you're doing low carb, low carb keto, whatever, calories still matter. They really do. So i um, trying to keep a watch on that too. Got a bunch of drumsticks. I'm either going to ask Hubby to barbecue them, which is fabulous when he does it, or I will oven bake them with like a Parmesan crust. And then that way those will be ready for the week. I also got some um, grass-fed ground beef patties here. And I got some of this sausage here. This is pizza sausage and it's actually $2.18. It's quite affordable. Um, I just get this for the kids and they use it for pita pizzas, but I guess I could use them for low-carb pizzas. I also pick up the turkey pepperoni whenever I'm out because you can have quite a few for low points and um, it's just kind of a it's kind of a quick way to get some protein I mean nine grams of protein in like you know 16 slices which is really good that's more keto bread mostly the kids are eating that I'm usually still really haven't had much of that lately got more um, some free-range eggs and then I got a couple of these unsweetened chocolate um, baker's bars because I'm going to be making a dessert, which is really, really low carb, um, but it takes some of this chocolate. And my favorite tea in the whole world, I've said before, is this one, Constant Comment by Bigelow. It's decaffeinated, it's black tea. I will have this with a little creamer, a little sweetener. This just has such really nice hints of um, orange and um, just you know sweet spiciness to it. This I highly recommend if you want a nice hot tea. Um, this I could just, if it's my only tea in life that's hot, it would probably be that. All right, I also got a ton of these French cut green beans. They, I went to Winco. Winco's a bulk store, so you can still buy flats of vegetables, and they're totally good with that. Um, but I like the French style sometimes because I will use that as a base instead of like spaghetti, and then top it with spaghetti sauce and uh, cheese or um, and burger meat. Or I can use this for the base of a taco salad and just put like taco meat on top and cheese and go that way with it. But the French style cut always kind of adds another little stringy flavor. It's re they're really good. All right, I stopped at Whole Foods and got some more, some strawberries and some blackberries, a couple of those. And these grapes are for my kids. 
Um, and I picked up some of this. I was listening to a doctor be interviewed the other day on the Beat Diabetes channel, and he was talking about this German um, fitness bread. And he was saying how it's kind of like a brick, you know, but this is really real whole grain bread. Oh, no, I think it was, um, yeah, it was Dr. Lustig. Um, he's a pediatric uh, endocrinologist. He works with a lot of people with diabetes. And um, he was talking about how this is really like the true whole grain bread, um, but it's really dense. So I thought I would put some up because, um, let me look, where's that information at? Here it is. Okay, so it's got 30 grams of carbs, right? If you subtract the fiber, that's 11 minus 11, and then you cut that in half because this is quite a big bread. So half of this bread is only going to be like 9.5 grams of carbs, which means like a quarter is going to be like 4.75. Um, but and, and a quarter might not seem like a lot, but this is a loaf. This is extremely dense bread. So I might actually try just a little bit this week and then test my blood sugar and see what kind of effect it actually has on that. Because if it doesn't very much, this might be a, a doable bread for my blood sugar. So that'll be an experiment. Um, and then I stopped at World Market and I got some things. I got these for hubby, he likes uh, salami. And these are salami whips. They're quite long because they, um, they start up here and then they go like this. So it's like a rope and um, it's just, wood smoked and it's like um it's 130 calories but it's zero carbs and eight grams of protein so i think he'd probably like that with some cheese i also picked up some of these for myself skinless boneless smoked sardine fillets and these ones are not in oil they're just um smoked fillets in well in water and salt so there's no oil in these ones so i thought i'd try these and see how i like them and then i got a bunch of wonderful wonderful mustards that i really really enjoy so this one is hot horseradish mustard and if you look at these flavored mustards it's only like five calories for one teaspoon there's no carbs no fat um, and so this kind of, it's creamy enough and mild enough, but very flavorful. Um, and this is by Braswell's. And I know that sometimes they sell Braswell's at um, Hobby Lobby. And so sometimes you can find their products there. But sometimes I'll use these instead of mayonnaise because I don't, you know, I want to keep my calories down maybe in a sandwich. This one's truffle mustard and this one is, oh, highly recommended. I love the truffle one too. I love them all really. And this one's great. Dill pickle mustard. And this one's really good on sandwiches. So Braswell's, if you don't, they're very uh, reasonable. If you don't have them, maybe you can get them online. Maybe Amazon has them. I'm going to have to look and see. And then I picked up some of this muffaletta mix because hubby likes interesting little things like this on uh, sandwiches. And this one's not too bad on carbs. I think it's just like one carb for one serving, which is an ounce. And uh, he likes olives and things like that. So I thought maybe he might like it. And this I did not get at um, World Market. I got this at TJ Maxx. And I think it was only, yeah, it was like $3.99. I never saw this before. It is Hearts of Palm Spaghetti. And uh, I didn't know that this would be so low in carbs. But if you look, it's only got like four carbs minus two grams of dietary fiber, which means two, two net carbs per serving. And there's two and a half servings in here, which is kind of dense per container. So I'm going to have to do a taste test on this and see how the Hearts of Palm Spaghetti is. This is by Natural Heaven. It is uh, low carb gourmet. So you might be able to find this online. All right. And that's about it for this week. All right. Last stop of the day. <clears throat> I stopped at Target to buy a couple of pairs of pants, which I was very su happily surprised that um, I went the size down. Okay. So 
I just picked up a few little um, snacks there that are low carb slash keto kind of fun things. This isn't anything to base your diet on, but it's nice to have these things as extras once in a while. Um, this I have not tried yet, so if anybody's tried this and you like it, let me know. This is by Wonderworks. It is a keto-friendly cereal, and it is three grams of net carbs. It's peanut butter. Um, I thought maybe, honestly, that my husband would like that more than anything, because he, he used to like the peanut butter crunch. Uh, I don't know if that's the same. I also picked up Lily's Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups, which is should be about two net grams, two net grams of carbs after you take away the fiber and the sugar alcohols, and that's for two pieces. So one piece would probably be half that. I did get some more of these. My husband asked me to pick these up. These are by far the best bars we've ever had. And if you serve them as a dessert with berries and some whipped cream, you just can't go wrong. These uh, chocolate mousse think bars are well worth their points. Um, and then these ones are the best Quest bars that I've seen. These ones are worth seven points though. So we have half of these bars, even the think bar, we usually split it and have half. Um, but this one is a really good one. I think they call it a hero bar, the chocolate caramel pecan. So half of that's gonna be like, I don't know, three, three or four carbs. And then this one, crispy chocolate coconut, we have not tried yet, but it looked really good and it looked close to the Hero Bar, so I thought, you know what, we'll probably like that. I've not yet tried these, and I figured Hubby and I could split one of these one time, and that is four grams of net carbs for a whole cookie. Um, this is just something that we don't have anymore, right? So it's kind of nice to have one once in a while. Not like to sit down and eat a whole box. I think you'd be in a lot of trouble if you did that because of the artificial sweetener that's in there. Um, Dish with D was talking about this true lemonade, which I went to the dollar store to try to find and they didn't have them. So I found this at um, Target. But, um, and, and it looks really good. The only thing about this is that I did notice that it had cane sugar added, but uh, with one gram. And usually if anything has cane sugar at all, I just don't, you know, I don't have it. But since it had one gram, I thought, mm, maybe I'll just, I'll take this and maybe try some of it and see if, See if it does okay. I'll take my blood sugar, watch it, and see if it does okay. It should do okay. And then I pick, picked up two of these. This is lemonade, and this is raspberry lemonade, and these are um, market from Market Pantry, the Target brand. And I don't usually add anything to my water, but I thought I might try this. I don't know if that can focus or not. So those are the extras that I got this week. If you recognize any of them and recommend any of them highly, let me know. Um, I think I've pretty much tried everything before, except for the cookies, but these things, and the cereal. I haven't tried that either, so. Okay, guys, that's it for, oh, and then I got this magazine to read. It looked really interesting, and um, I noticed they add a few carbs in here, more for women than for men. But anyway, I thought it would be really interesting to read this. It's kind of like an overview of uh, going like that keto, which I'm not, I'm not keto. I'm kind of keto low carb. So I'm working it out. Um, whatever works with my blood sugar, that's what I am.